September to try to defend that crown as he's going to try to defend his world title in Budapest in August. See the lineup of the field, and there is the aforementioned Sufyan El Bakali. Seven and a half laps of the track. Everyone behind the line, please, as we're underway with our last event of the day. And El Bakali right out there in the front, and the crowd reacts accordingly. Go by the water jump for this first time. Don't see the barrier until they get just past the finish line, the way that water barrier is situated. Different venues have that water jump placed at different points based on whether it's interior or exterior to the track itself. Seven laps to run. We're underway here in the men's 3,000 meter steeplechase. Now, not only have they come to see El Bacali run and potentially win here, but this is set up to be a reasonably fast race with the pace setters feverishly heading to the front. Wassel of Morocco, Konez of Kenya are the two pace hitters in front of El Bacali. The blue wave light pace is for the pace setters themselves. The green light is actually the world record of 7.53.63 that has stood since 2004. So we'll see what happens and what unfolds here over the course of these next couple of thousand meters to the finish in the men's 3,000 to get through the water jump for the first time. Asking to go through the first Three laps in about 3.09, so they're halfway home to that mark, 600 meters or so in. We'll step aside and be back for the closing laps and jumps in the men's steeplechase. What's your favorite part of a Kit Kat bar? The chocolate? Nope, the inside. The wafers? No, the stuff in between the wafers. Ah, oh, the in-between stuff. Have a break, have a Kit Kat and try a bigger bite with Big Cat. Hi, I'm Terry Bradshaw. And I'm Rocky Blyer. And I'm Colonel Greg Getz. On this Memorial Day, our heartfelt thanks to all of our military veterans for their service. We honor our veterans and those who no longer are with us. To all of our military serving around the world, thank you for defending the many freedoms we enjoy. Tune in to Salute to Veterans for discussions about the issues our, our military veterans face daily. For $25 now with steak. Get the stories behind the numbers. There's investing news that impacts your money in your portfolio. And there's business news that impacts your life. And the people behind the business. When the market's closed, we're going to dive into those important stories. From Wall Street to K Street and Main Street, the markets may close. Your money never stops. Last Call is really about spotting tomorrow's opportunities tonight. Brian Sullivan hosts Last Call, weeknight 7 Eastern, CNBC. The poster child for the meme stock phenomenon. Independent thinking leader. There are people who made fortunes. 30 something entrepreneur who built out Chewy to the great company that is today. He took home a billion in cash. What happened in Bed Bath and Beyond is one day he liked the company and the next day he didn't. A hero or a villain? Seems like Ryan Cohen is kind of using people. What he's up to is anybody's guess. Unmasking the man behind the movement. Making of the Meme King. The CNBC documentary premieres Tuesday, June 6th, 10 Eastern. Are you over 50? Would you like to get up to 33% more income in retirement? Then call now for this free book, Annuity Do's and Don'ts for Baby Boomers, from a leading financial firm on maximizing your income in retirement. That's right, free. This free book reveals little-known secrets about annuity strategies in simple-to-understand terms that will help you make the right choices before buying an annuity. And it's free. Call right now for your free book. And as a bonus, we'll also throw in a free annuity rate report. We researched over 1,200 annuities and summarized the rates and benefits of annuities from financially strong insurers. Again, that's annuity do's and don'ts for baby boomers and a free annuity rate report, both absolutely free for calling Annuity General today. Supplies are limited. Call now. Call 800-924-9088. That's 800-924-9088.
Yes or no? Yes or no? I just want yes or no. You're gonna have to make a decision. We get this shot once. What would you like to do? You ready? This is their moment. Their one moment on the carpet. Shark Tank coming up next. CNBC. Your next best investment starts with CNBC Pro, the ultimate investing playbook. Scan this code or go to cnbc.com slash pro for an exclusive offer now. Pandemonium here in Rabat, Morocco, as the native son, Sufyan El Bakali, the reigning Olympic and world champion, chasing down a little of history here to end the night. That green light you see on the interior rail denotes the world back in 2004. El Bakali doesn't even own the national record in this event, as Rahim Bulami. Did it in Brussels back in 2001. That mark, 755.72. They went really quick in the first kilometer, well under world record pace, about five seconds slower on the second kilometer, and maybe the legs are starting to feel that just a little bit. But he comes off the final turn for the penultimate time, and you can see the entire contingent of VIPs up in the stands, sensing that this could be an historic on the track as he begins to pull away from Gennet Wale and here's the bell with a lap to go and he's under seven minutes as he heads to the back stretch for the final time. Everybody on their feet here in Rabat. As he tries to find an extra gear here, staying with that wave light. And the stutter step and hits the barrier again and tries to pick up steam. To the final water jump. And maybe struggles a little bit there as the lights come off. And he comes off the final turn. You see the world record maybe dipping out of sight. It'll still be quick as he's blown away the competition on this night. And he's going to strides as he comes to the line it'll be one of the fastest steeplechases in history 7 56 88 breaks his own meet record and becomes the sixth fastest steeplechaser in history And even the competitors celebrating that remarkable accomplishment, getting at Wale, lifetime best in second. Abraham Kibiwat of Kenya in third and a new lifetime best. Hillary Bohr, which we didn't even mention during the race. The American with a strong finish, 8-11-28, finishing in fourth.